Welcome to Garanant, in the middle of the spectacular Brecon Beacons National Park. The area has always been famous for its natural beauty, but now there is something else to celebrate, the creation of sustainable energy through hydropower. Natural Resources Wales, who manage Garanant on behalf of the Welsh Government, has created a project to harness the power of the water which pours down from the hilltops. NRW's energy delivery programme oversaw the project which took four months to complete and is currently delivering 17 kilowatts of power. And along with the solar panels and biomass boiler, this will enable our visitor centre to become carbon free. Turning water into electricity starts here. When the water comes over the weir, a percentage of it drops through the screen and enters the pipe or penstock. The water begins its journey from the weir to the turbine house at the bottom of the valley for a distance of 800 metres. The penstock is made of very strong but flexible polyethylene, the sections of which are welded together and then buried. The pipe has to withstand the pressure from the water which increases as you get lower down near the turbine house. The volume of the water flowing from the penstock is up to 80 litres per second. By the time the water comes out of the pipe at the bottom it's under very high pressure so that it forms a jet which can power the turbine. Hydroelectric power is a sustainable and renewable source of energy which requires no fossil fuels. This is not modern technology it was developed during the Industrial Revolution to provide power to industry and rural communities before we had a national grid. We abandoned this technology as we had access to cheap fossil fuels. But with our growing understanding of climate change and subsidies from central government, we've had to rediscover these traditional technologies. We've chosen this location as we have access to a stream close to our visitor centre where we can showcase this technology to the public. NRW is also the licensing body for giving permission to abstract water from rivers. This licensing process takes account of the environmental sensitivity of the river so that we do not take too much water which could have had a damaging effect on plants and animals living in and around the river. turbine house so the water finally becomes electricity. As we mentioned earlier, the water is under very high pressure by the time it reaches the turbine house. It is then passed through three nozzles which concentrate the pressure of the water onto the blades of the turbine. This causes the turbine to spin at very high speeds and is attached to the generator on the top which converts the energy into electricity. As you can see this is very simple technology. The electricity is supplied from here up to the visitor centre through a buried cable. Any electricity that we do not use in the visitor centre can be exported into the grid. The scheme will generate around 55,000 kilowatt hours a year, which is enough to meet the need of 12 houses. <laughs> 